Now that we've got the vSphere client installed, we can just go ahead and double click on it to launch it. If we're using vCenter in our environment, we're going to want to log into the vCenter server. If we're not and we're just using ESXi, we're going to want to log directly into the ESXi server. So let's go ahead and log into the ESXi server here first. So mine is PHX esxi01.itdvds.local and for a username and password we're going to need to use a username and password that is configured on the esxi host so when we're logging directly into an esxi host we're not going to be able to use our windows domain credentials if we're part of a domain so when you install esxi you set up the root username and password and that's the one you would use to log in initially so i'll go ahead and Type in that information and click login. We'll get a certificate warning. We'll go ahead and ignore that. And if our host is being managed by vCenter, we'll actually get a bit of a warning here that says, hey, this host is currently being managed by vCenter. Changes made here may not be reflected in the vSphere client of current sessions of the vCenter server. So normally if we're using vCenter, we don't log directly into the ESXi host. So that's what, why do we get that pop-up. So go ahead and click OK. And we can go to Inventory here. And configure virtual machines for this ESXi host and also the ESXi host itself. So what about if I had another ESXi host in my environment? Well, I would need to log into that one directly to configure the virtual machines on that one and that ESXi host. So we can't, we don't have a central location here when we're not using vCenter. So let's go ahead and close out of this and log directly into vCenter. I'll launch that same vSphere client and I'm going to type in the URL to my vCenter server, vCenter01.itdvds.local. And if we're part of a, a domain, which most likely we are going to be, we can actually use our Windows session credentials if the Windows account that we're logged in with has permission on our vCenter server. So if I check this box, then I don't have to type in the account that I'm logged in with. If I need to use a different username and password, I can just type it in here. So I'm just going to check the box to use Windows credentials. And again, that's of the currently logged in user. Again, we'll get the certificate warning. If I'd like, I can check this box to install the certificate so that it won't display this warning every time. I'll go ahead and do that. Then click ignore. And here we are. Now I'm logged into vCenter. I can expand out my data center, my clusters if I've got them. And I can see multiple ESXi hosts here if I have them. And they're being managed by vCenter. So now I've got one central place where I can manage everything.